So you might be asking yourself one of three questions. When does YouTube start paying you? What do you have to do for YouTube to start paying you in 2020? Or even how do you make money in 2020 on YouTube? Now to give you the answer immediately, it's at $100. But there are tons of other bits of information you need to know on how to get monetized and then how to actually be sent payments in the first place. Now, I recently found out that I had like $1,200 sitting in an account that I had no idea about. So over the next few minutes, you're gonna find out what you need to be doing to be able to get paid, to get monetized, and then the steps you need to be able to take to actually get that revenue into your bank account so you can start making some of that green. So just a warning, while this video will give you all the steps you need to be able to get monetized and paid, I'll also be peppering in my experiences for you to, you know, to kind of help you along the way and learn from the mistakes that I made along the way. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. We're all about creativity in filmmaking normally, but I also have a extreme interest in the business side of YouTube. So we'll be doing videos on that every now and again. So if that's something that you're into, follow this guy down to the corner and consider subscribing. So to kick this all off, you need to be a part of YouTube's partner program. And to do that, you need to be doing three things. First of all, you need to be in good standing. That means no copyright strikes. And weirdly, I actually got my first copyright strike about a month ago. But that's no big deal because they come off in about three months as long as you're not getting recurring copyright strikes. Next is you need at least 1,000 subscribers. And then on top of that, you need about, about you need exactly 4,000 hours of watch time within the last 12 month period. So now once you actually reach those thresholds, you'll need to take some action. It's not just gonna happen and fall in your lap for you. So that action, you'll need to go to your monetization tab inside of YouTube. So it's on the left hand side, go to monetization and then click the, the big blue bar, you can't miss it, that says notify me when I'm eligible. Pretty self-explanatory on that one, really. And also what's really useful is it'll give you an indication of how close you are to meeting those thresholds. So it's, you know, really nail-biting stuff when you're at one or two or three or four subscribers and you, you've still got like 990 something to go. Now, once you reach that threshold, YouTube will be sending you an email. So make sure you're checking that bad boy inbox every now and again for that email because you'll need to take even more action again. So when you finally do get that email in, you're gonna come back to the monetization tab. Of course, you'll have accepted. You'll then have to review the terms, you know, accept all of those things that YouTube makes you abide by. And then you'll have to set up an AdSense account. And really, AdSense is the platform which monitors all your ads and gives you all the analytics on that and is actually the platform that pays you. So it's kind of important. Now I know that's a lot to remember and don't worry, you don't have to remember it all. Once you're ready, that'll all show up in your monetization tab in YouTube. So don't worry about jotting all this down, it'll show up for you. But it's still a convoluted process to try and follow. So there's more steps to come. Once you've followed all those steps, YouTube will review your channel and either approve you or disapprove you. And it's, it's at this point, if you're worried about not getting approved, I don't, I can't help you. I don't know what happens there. No idea what happens. If you're getting disapproved before you've even really started making big content, something's wrong. Now, this is the part where you actually select to start showing ads on your videos. And of course, that's your first way to make, to become monetized on YouTube. So when you hit your upload, it's gonna be on page two that you come to your monetization selections and you're gonna change up your parameters from here. Obviously you're gonna turn that from off to on. I don't know why I'm saying that. And then you start selecting how you want your ads to show. Now, there's that age old discussion of should you monetize your channel? Should you not monetize it? And let's be honest here, this is 2020, everything's monetized. There are ads everywhere and it's, it's normal to see ads on things, right? So go ahead, put those ads on, get some of that cheddar, even if it's like really low amounts of money. So now that your channel is set up for ads, you go and watch one of your videos back and you see one of those ace Squarespace ads and you're thinking, choice. My channel is now monetized. They've got money rolling in from left, right and center. It's time to figure out how much you're actually earning. 
And this is the part where I completely messed up until very recently. So once you go into your analytics, you'll see an estimated revenue number right here. Now, $54.78 is, is pretty low. And I always thought to myself, I'd heard this number of, you have to be making $100, at least that much of a threshold, to be paid. And now I've been monitoring this number since 2016, when I started up uploading regularly. And I think there was one time that I went over $100 here. I think I hit $11, $111. And that was because I was putting ads on my videos. In, you know, quick side note, I will be uploading a video or at least an ebook on how to put ads on your YouTube channel, how they do, how to set those up. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you're subscribing to follow along for that when that comes out. It's a good side note there, I like that. So this dollar amount right here doesn't actually show you exactly how much you're gonna get paid. It's an estimate and it has nothing to do with that $100 threshold. So to find out how much you're actually getting paid or, her, or should have been paid or whatever, you're gonna to want to go into your AdSense account. Remember that thing you set up earlier when you became part of the YouTube partner program? Yeah, that one. So at this point, we're gonna head over to our AdSense account, and this is gonna be your home for all things money related, your, how your ads are doing, the analytics on those ads, and how much you should be getting paid, including how you're gonna get paid and what's in your account balance. So as we get into my AdSense account, I'm gonna give you a warning. So you see this number over here, this is my balance. This is where I very recently found out that I have this amount saved up in here. So I've been doing YouTube consistently since about mid 2016. And as you can see, I've earned $1,283 and a little bit of chump change. Now it's a decent sum, but I've made, how many videos have I made? Videos, so select all, about 30 per page. Scroll down, how many pages do I have? About 106, so if I do 30 times 106, so 3,180, and then let's say each video takes about four hours to make, so 3,180 times four, 12,720. That's how many hours I've spent on, you know, let's say a four hour edit. That's a lot of hours. And they say at 10,000 hours, you become an expert at something. And I'm making how much money? It's not going good. All right, so then let's do 1,280 divided by 12,720. 1,280 divided by 12,720, was that the number? I'm making 12 cents an hour, 10 cents an hour. My God, that's demoralizing. I might need a minute here. What the? 10 cents an hour. Holy <laughs> If I didn't have any other streams of revenue from YouTube, like my digital products, affiliate marketing, and the other stuff, I should have given up a long time ago. But at least let that be a warning for you of how, I, mean, I hope you have more success than I've had so far. So that's why you shouldn't quit your day job, kids, and, and start going YouTube full time because you have things like that. Anyway, now that I've publicly humiliated myself on my AdSense earnings over the past four years, Let's talk about that $100 threshold that I mentioned earlier. So if I go to my balance here and click on the three icons, go to view payments, and I'm going to go on to view transactions. Instead of last three months, I'm gonna go, oh, okay, accidentally do that. I'm gonna go all time. Now here, it's gonna show me how much I've earned month by month. And if I scroll all the way down here, it looks like as of December 1st, 2016, I could have withdrawn my first payment from ads on my YouTube channel. See here, the threshold has gone over $100. This is the threshold that you need to be hitting to be able to withdraw money. So let's put it this way. If you, you're part of the YouTube Partner Program and you have one video that just goes huge for a couple of months and then it just drops off and dies. Let's say you make a couple of thousand, you lucky, you lucky get you. 
make a couple of thousand, you withdraw it, beautiful, and then your channel, you don't upload, your channels just die, something happens, and you just stop making or any kind of revenue from ads. You then need to hit another $100 threshold to be able to withdraw again from your AdSense account. So once you have made $100 in your AdSense account, you're now eligible to be able to pull from YouTube. Now there are three things you need to be setting up before you can actually pull from YouTube, from AdSense, before you can pull from AdSense. Now the first is you need to be verifying your bank account. So you go to payments, begin to go to how you get paid and manage your payment methods. Next, you need to verify your address and tax information and you can do all of that again within the payments tab and go down to manage settings. So there you have it. It's a, it seems like a terribly convoluted process where you're jumping from this, that, and everything, and there's a lot of threshold that you need to get through. But I hope my experience and this breakdown of how to be able to do it has really helped you even to help you bumble your way through at some point. So I hope you found this video helpful and where this channel is normally about creativity in filmmaking. Like I said, I am very interested in the business side of YouTube and how that works. So expect more content on that both in the form of videos on this channel and eBooks on my store for you to learn from my experiences and mostly my mistakes. So if either of those things interest you, consider subscribing. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I will see you guys in the next one. 10 cents an hour. I should be poor.